We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I didn't expect that. You've been living with this thing this time. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, Everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right, sir. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, 
There'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator, who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it have the time to? No one, I'm afraid. Figures. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Ardain and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Coroner Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb, dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey, hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no, how say? Yes, Pippi. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? 
You should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The chairman? For me? Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. But pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure... What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Such rowdy bunch. 
here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. That's the black ship from the harbour. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Mia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager, then. Where's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. That's the salvager's cold. <sighs> Sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <sighs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium? Don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager? It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> 
everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel, report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so we'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying you lowlights a lot, so don't screw it up. You smug so-and-so. And submerged. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... Propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? That's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams? Proceed inside when ready. Right then. Let's get moving. You with us. Me? You're gonna drag the kid along. Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, you... <laughs> Just stand 
stand there. You've got your orders, haven't you? Amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight? So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move! Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> <laughs> They make short work of Monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well, too. There's much money to be made from these people. <laughs> Not planning on letting us past, huh? Sounds like a challenge. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's Crest. Adam's Crest? What does that mean? You. Open this door. Me? This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? What are you talking about? Hurry up and do it! We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. What the hell? You can't treat hired hands like that. Now, how do we open this thing? Oh, hey! So that was a release toggle. Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door too. Let's move. What... what is that thing? It's a... girl.
Look. Yes, no mistaking it. That's the Aegis. The Aegis. Hey, Brat! Don't even think about touching that! Huh? <laughs> At least you won't be alive to see what's coming. Ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros. Excuse me. It's such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not... Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh... Where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago, mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... we were born. Get out! R really Is that a core crystal? You're a... blade? My name is Pyra. What? Oh, right. M mine is... I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait. I can't do anything if I'm dead. Titan's fucked. If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass. Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world. 
atop the world tree that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. As my driver. As the driver of the Aegis. The driver? Of the Aegis? What... what the... What will you do, Rex? Is this place really your home? It is. And it really exists. Rex, I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Now place your hand on my chest. What? Are you sure? Nia, and them. And? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with, Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... of you just claim her power for yourself this is as far as it goes yeah Aegis over here just 
Leave it out. Give it a rest, Marlot. Can't see you just a child. A child? Don't make me laugh. This kid ah. made himself the Aegis of Driver! The Aegis of Driver? Rex is... Uh. Yeah! Ah. Uh. You are done! Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Ah! Everybody, go now! Quick! Yeah! Malo, here! I don't think so. Bully, over here! Nobody like you. Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. However... Rex! Don't get cocky, you little shit! Zubak! Understood. Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child. Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! Shark for someone who's only just woken up. Pyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is a museum. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! Nia! 
You're a tough one, kid. But there's only one way this can end. Oh, shit. What's that? Gramps! That Malos Azura. to do. And so, Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can't Papoonin not even die properly? What if they ask Banner to repay money? Hmm. Huh? Die? Repay who? Meh. None of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner know as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lose them, yes? Yes, but... And then run away like coward? Yes, but... Ma, 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 ma! Bad enough wanting feeble excuses of Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclist Sea, in current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up.
Pyra? Oh, thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Why? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a titan of some kind. A titan? Where's Gramps? And Nia? We gotta find them! They can't be far! Okay! It is good to see you uninjured, Rex. How awful. Hold on, I should have some herbs. You are kind, but no amount of human medicine would suffice. But weep not, my boy. This is my fate. Uh I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <sighs> the days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Rams. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex? <laughs> Rex? Grams! Rex! your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean pay rent? Oh, miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're OK, Grants. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. 
They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. It feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. My lady, leave this to me. I'm not just going to abandon you, Zuma. What? We're here to help. Mia. Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now is our chance. Let's attack. All right, then. So why you guys even... Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan. Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent, my lady. Sure, lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, they'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. 
That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Melos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <sighs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. Right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormot Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormot, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotti? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. This is great! Especially after slumming it on Gramps' back for so long. <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in gold. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? Of course. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. Your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Nia? Right, let's go. So, this is Torogoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Nia? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an inn, then I'm out of here.
bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. A remarkable likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some things? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. Fie! Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow! Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility! For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall! Come now! Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Or look after us? Please. I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be, become a driver... Out of the way, Ipsqueak. Go. All right. Come on, Blade Boy. Oh, show me what you got. <laughs> Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. <laughs> oh ho! Old bark and no bite! What a shame! Oh, what just happened? All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better one. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Step forward, sir, with bold heart! No! Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Don't, don't do it! it. <laughs> There's your aptitude. crystal turn into a weapon? That is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's... She's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless. Anchored to the world, only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential 
can imbue us with form and being. And it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra. She was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? What is the Aegis? Really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Gormotti Driver, white beast form blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? Hmm. Now, as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number? 539? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal. Unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Rex, Dromak and I are going to make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem too. Sheesh. You're a stubborn one, in you? Gramp says the same thing. OK, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. OK. Just get the word. OK, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two... All, all right, then. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three! So strong! Such strength from a measly two fighters. Their drivers are right. Rex! No! You got it! Wow. A wall made of fire! Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady! Bridget! Bridget? Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrissey, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, she's more than a man. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Torsten. Please blame me your power to bring them to justice. That emerald core crystal. Could it really be true? Well, Captain Cargo, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger, Ben, bring the unit of water.
What? She... she repelled our attack. She's so... strong. Mm. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering! Just get it! This is an Ethernet! <laughs> Let's see you use your precious art when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of you, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets. Go. Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. Ah! 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 Rex! Ah! Damn it! Huh? Ah! What a... Despite all this water, so the legends of the ages were real. Hey, hey! This way, friends, come this way. Tora, help you escape. Who are you? Explain. Thanks. You saved us. But I got to ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyro. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> Huh? Uh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for... Say, Padraig, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the emerald core crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl? with barely a bounty on her head. But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Dougal, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. 
<laughs> you dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious. How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger rather than a... Science! Ah! Console! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. Look this! This cannot be happening! You live down here. This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how driver and blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to. We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. Talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh, meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Mm. Before we do anything, time for food. All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nia and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though... You might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Oh, man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in 120 years. 
Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire-using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're all right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade women got splooshy with water, so fire power's all done. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <sighs> well, um, uh, 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 it. Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Yeah. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your Grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are His Majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting Your Grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? How do you...? Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Why do you want...? Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace! I'll take you to her right away! <laughs> so, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little... Different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Tona goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No, I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. 
Well, that was easy. Damn it! This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right! Let's look for friends of Rex Rex! Nia and Dromark. Executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex. We can't put everyone in danger. Right. Sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's ruse, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh. You did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago. Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? Mm, it was started by Grampypon and Dadapon. But Grampypon die, and Tora still not know where Dadapon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then... Dad upon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all? Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. 
If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I pull. Don't even joke, Grumps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Up, leave that to Tora. Well, then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. really complete very complete just need to apply energy charge to activate Tora our friends execution draws near there's no time to lose make haste I know I know oh, okay artificial blade it's wakey wakey time that won't do Tora what what Tora do wrong you can't keep calling her artificial blade as her creator the least you can do is Give her a proper name. Oh, um, well... Actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away! Now, wakey, wakey! Tora's very own blade! Oh, Poppy! <gasps> Poppy? Oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that. Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings? Uh, this time should be okay. Second time go best. Power! Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before, when she was all... you know. Forget about it! That's not Tora's fault! Th that was, um... Grampy Pond! Grampy Pond Susie made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pond's fault. Are you sure, Tora? Yes! Grampy Pond! No time to lose. Anyway, my name Poppy. Poppy tries hard to make Master Pond proud. Oh yeah, that's 
crew think she owns the place. Just because she curries favour with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Banna for a tidy sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her. So, as you wish, sir. Watch and learn, Morag Ladea. There is Titan warship. Hmm. Quite the impressive Titan. Another sign that Morardin is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look. That route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes! We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. OK. Off we go! Understood. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. Pyra, you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. Call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex, a little tactless. Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... Ooh, she heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that just means Pyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Pyra should be proud. Poppy pull Pyra up. Please grab again. Nice, Poppy. Poppy, artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. Upon. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Let's try opening up some of these doors. Anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. It very good! See, Master Pond? There was a blade here. Master Titan, and forgive me, but who are they?
Dromok, we don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course, we are in residence after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed. This way. No doubt about it. That's the place. Who are you people? They're the terrorist friend. We are her friends, but I won't let you call her a terrorist. anyone was coming at all as if we'd leave you always help those who help you that's the second rule of the salvages code well that's you all over ain't it rex rex tora has found escape route hurry hurry and not point he has been of some assistance we made a new friend uh nice to meet you well I think we've overstayed our welcome here. Time to get moving. Ah, not much further to exit. Not so fast, my dear intruders. Letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. Ah, oh, that emerald core crystal. You must be the Aegis! Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Morad was right on the money. You know who Power is? Are you trying to capture her too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. Let's go, Pyra. Got it. Just hiding behind his blade. What? Does common sense of the you? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. So it's okay to use them as a living shield. You weak son. Even if he can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. <laughs> How cute! The fleabag thinks we should care about blade feeling. <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain. How? A mangy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids? I triumphant return to more Arden with the Aegis. Oh. Hmm. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to more Arden. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. Flames again. It's her.
And with a driver, too, this time. That's Morag, the Flamebringer. Morag? Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardane. The most powerful driver in the Empire. And wielder of bridges. The most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly? Yes. You certainly proved useful. However... Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon? We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! Then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. Child, why don't you just give it up? You'll never get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. Pyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm going to help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers, but... Her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never. There has to be a way. Some kind of. She's a fireblade. 
We've got to find water. There. Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, there they are. Pyra, can you manage a full-powered blast? Yes, maybe one or two. That'll do. Getting predictable, boy. Look who's talking. Puppy, no! Roger, Roger! The water tank. So that's their plan. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> oh, him. See you later. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. I want to reach Elysium. What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the... Titans dying off. Living space is running out. That's going to start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. <sighs> if I can prove Elysium exists, 
Maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But... Fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really use a companion like you. If you wanted. Elysium. Do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well, Pyra told me that she was born there. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyra's just lying? What if this is all an act and one day she turns round and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. So... serious. She... <laughs> <laughs> An emerald core crystal is the sign of the Aegis, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? If the legends are true, even people like me. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra? You hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs> Probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do.
Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah! Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormont itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. Is that a cloud sea compass a must-have for salvagers it's sort of a map of the cloud sea if you do this and this what's the date today um a math october 5th 4058 okay so now we put the date in see oh this is very clever looks like gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hello? Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. 
Well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this... Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pawn was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pawn. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off to Grampy Pawn indeed! Oh, well, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. What is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct! But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go. Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients. So now we borrow Uncle Pond's boat. Thanks, Simon. We owe you. Indeed. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. So that's the World Tree. Whoa, I've never seen it so close before. Me neither, to tell you the truth. But it's just as awesome as it helped. The current's really strong. Following that, any other gone. It's great that we made it this far. But how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyra? We... Huh? Rex, we need to leave. We can't stay here. What? Why? What are you talking about, Pyra?
What was that? I thought we were done for. Huh? Is that Uriah's Titan? This is not good. Ah, here it comes. Pyra? Anybody? Uh, I'm here. You hurt? No, I'm fine. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Looks like we're all okay. Except for the fact that we now find ourselves in the belly of the beast. The beastie's belly? This is the inside of the Orion Titan. Meh, meh. Look. Tora think this not nice place. Is that how we're going to end up? Hey, Rex, don't jinx us. Everyone, shouldn't we try to get out of here? If I recall, the Orions live towards the beast's back. There must be a way up there. Yeah. Can't hang around here, for sure. Over there. Huh? Poppy sees something over there. Someone coming this way. For real? Maybe you're just seeing things. Poppy is certain. Something is flickering over there. Flickering? You say? Some kind of ghost, maybe? Shut up. There's no such thing. Nia, you're not scared, surely? D don't talk nonsense, Rex. I'm not a kid. You're scared. At last, something Nia's scared of. Just you watch. Hey, where's Pyra? What? Pyra's missing. Uh, but she was right here. Pyra? Pyra! Hey, what's up? Ah! Uh, hey, what's the big idea? Don't wander off like that. Nothing, really. I was just taking a look around. What's the matter? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Oh, Titan's fault. Oh. Things are looking brighter already. Poppy can help too. Now even more brighter. You two are certainly earning a keep. Oh, I wish I could say the same for old Dromark here. Apologies, my lady. See? Not so scary when you can actually see. Let's find the exit. Yeah! yeah! There's some kind of dim light. If I remember, the Orion Titan has a translucent hide. I bet that'll be the light filtering through. So, the Titan must be above the clouds now. I dare say. If we can make it to the source of the light, maybe we'll find a way out of here. Hold it!
Looks like a bunch of mushes I ain't seen yet. You gotta have pretty damn bad luck ending up in a titan's guts like this. Huh? That blade! An emerald core crystal! <laughs> so, the rumors are true. Huh? What rumors? The tale that every driver worth his salt knows. The legendary Aegis. Folks been saying she just woke up from a 500-year nap. Wouldn't have thought she'd show up with a pencil neck shrimp like you for a driver, though. You think I don't have what it takes? No, I mean... Maybe you could handle a normal blade. But a greenhorn like you, with a beaut like her... Don't kid yourself. Come on, boy. Hand her over to a grown-up. This crap is getting old. Leave her alone. You got heart, kid. I like that. You, Zuo, you take care of the others. I want to squash the kid. <laughs> Leave it to us, boys. We'll take real good care of him. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis, or aren't you? Huh? Something feels... different. This man, he's... That all you got, mate? Pathetic. We'll show you. We'll show you what me and Pyra are made of. He dodged. Of course I did, kid. Any slower, you'd bore me to death. How about this, then? Rex! Wait! I can't supply power this fast! Nowhere left to run! Eat this! Huh? Playtime's over. Take this. Uh -huh. Ha! If you're a driver, you're a new one for sure. Drivers, see? We borrow our blade's energy, channel it into our weapons, and let rip with an art. But you gotta be careful. There's a limit to it. If you go in all bullheaded like that, kid, even that Aegis of yours is gonna run out of energy before long. What? What? Huh? Huh? The name's Van Dam. I run a little firm out of the nearby village. Uh, firm? Come on! I'll treat you to some grub. As thanks for letting me take a whack at the legendary Aegis. <laughs> Just then, I realized while we were fighting, I sensed from the very start that he didn't mean us any real harm. Hmm, he sure is a strange old goat, that one. Hell of a story. So you headed to the World Tree to reach Elysium, but got swallowed up whole instead. You got some crazy luck. So, uh, what were you doing back there, then? You know, this Titan, it ain't too fussy about what it eats. I went down there to see if anything we might need in the village washed up. But mostly I only found your sorry mushes. Yeah, sorry about that. Here we are. Welcome to Garfon. Ain't much but it's home. The village has a lot of children. Lots of drivers and blades here, too. We're in the business of dispatching drivers and blades all across the world. Most of the kids are war orphans. Took them in while on the job. So you're saying that you take them under your wing? Just till they're able to make it by themselves. Some of them 
might grow up to be drivers, like ourselves. But then others might become tailors. Doesn't matter what they want to do with their lives. We leave it up to them to decide. Aye, us justice busters just want to help. Good eggs, huh? You said it. I've been called worse. Come on, let's eat. All this egg talk's making me hungry. I'm going to get some water. Bandam? Cheers, love. Give me a beer. Beer? Coming right up. What's up? The grub don't suit you? So, do you fight in wars too, Van Damme? You got a problem with mercenaries? Are you trying to get us to join up? Ha! <laughs> Shrimps like you? We're not that desperate. Relax. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Rex. You're a salvager, ain't you? Yeah. You must have fished out your share of military supplies, right? You're fine with that? Nah, I don't want to get involved with it. It's all the same. Compasses, valves for reether stoves. Armies need all these things. That bread you're eating, it's made from rusca flour, supplied by the Ardanian government. This world's full of war. Don't matter if you're a soldier or not. As long as you're alive, you're in the war, some way or another. Don't you think? Um, I... Life can be cruel. Crueler than you know. That's why I set up this little band, so I could protect the people I care about. Rex, you're the driver of the Aegis. The whole world's going to try and scalp you. You realise that? How are you going to live when you've got everyone gunning for you? It'd be easy to run. All you need to do is ditch that girl. <sighs> hmm. Come on! Gotta get ready. What? Where are we going? Just follow me, kid. We just got a job to go check out some kind of crazy energy effect. Somewhere up around the blowhole. What do you say? Fancy being a mercenary for a day? Um, okay. But, I mean, we don't work for free. Don't worry, kid. You'll get paid. <sighs> An ether miasma. Take it, this is your first one. Ether miasma? It's a load of poisonous waste products spewed from the Titan's gut. You know, when you get gassy, kind of like that. Um, is there a way through this thing? I can't see any way around it. Hey, no fear. Rock, mate! You're up! My asthma's died down. <laughs> yep, nothing to it. Let's roll! A 
An Arden. Just what we need. Rex. Any good with that anchor? Yeah, I get by. And then here. Watch. Awesome. I never thought of using it that way. The trick is to pull it toward at just the right moment. Now you try. You got it after seeing it once. Not bad, kid. Hey. <laughs> Listen up, kid. Drivers use arts, but that doesn't just mean using the powers your blade gives you. There are arts that use your own strength or take advantage of your enemies. There are all sorts. A driver's job is to be smart with his arts and protect his blade. Protect my blade? Yeah. It's a two-way thing, kid. You gotta be aware of the power coming out of her. Don't waste it. Channel it through your arts and protect her. If you can do that, then you're a true driver, kid. A true driver? I don't know. Am I ready? Course you are. That thing from before took me five years to learn that. Five years? Yeah, but you saw it once, and then you aced it like it was nothing. And you got Nia and Tora in tow. Those guys are pretty handy. Kid, you got a bright future. I think I'm gonna spew. Biggie Pon has scary face, but he very nice. <laughs> Suss me out, furry pom. Like I thought. A titan? So that weird power effect they clocked. Maybe this is the cause. Yeah, sure looks like it. I'll hazard it wasn't death by old age, either. Might have been an accident. On the other hand, it might have been attacked. Hey, look! Seems like this Titan dying off has stirred up something else. The blade returned to its core. So that monster was in resonance with the blade. Tora cannot resonate. Stinky monster can resonate. Not fair. But Master Pond have Poppy. Oh, Poppy! <laughs> if a blade loses its driver, it winds up like this. So is it like dead? Nah. The crystals start glowing again after a bit of time. Then a new driver can resonate with it. But... There's a bot? Its memory will be totally zapped. It'll be reborn as a new blade. Won't remember a thing. Yeah? That's pretty rough. To have all your past wiped out like that. But memories can be... painful as well. They can be a terrible burden. And a blade can live forever, as long as the crystal exists. It's just as well. Eternity is a long time to collect bad memories. Pyra. I'm sorry. I was just thinking, sometimes being able to forget is a... 
blessing. Come on. Let's get finished up here. That's... A core crystal! What? Well, that's where they come from. Out of Titans. This one's brand new and ready to resonate. Like a big steak, right before you take that first bite. It'll probably end up buddying up with a bunch of drivers. Every time the driver dies, it'll forget everything and return to its core. Eventually, it'll resonate with a new driver. Drivers dying. Titans dying. The blade just keeps on living through it all. It's a never-ending cycle. An eternal history. As mortals, we'll never be able to understand. It's incredible. Could her old driver still be alive somewhere? Perhaps... You were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. Ah, ah, ah. That was on purpose. You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well... I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex, you rubbed it too hard. Ah. It hurts. Hey, See? you two. Give me a look at that. seen this before. Don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds. And they're exactly the same as Rex's. Incredible. Never heard of such a thing. It's all true. I just thought it was an accessory. Van Damme, that's not my style. Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the chips fell. It is what it is. What it is is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyra, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead, so I won't die again. I've got to live, for her sake, until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean... Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Nia, you're one of the baddies now, you villain. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... 
<laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Torna? Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin grew up to this. Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. You would You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. Ow! Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They've taken the lives of too many drivers, including some of my crew. Good people. Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them... You! Zuo! Get everyone out of the village! Yes, sir! You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade, Obrona. She can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields of the opposing element. Finally! A decent opponent for a change! Let's go! Such an honor! Sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis! with the driver. It seems that they're taking each other's damage somehow. Ah, so that means that the Aegis is a mere mortal right now. In that case, a little more damage and she'll be easy to deal with. <gasps> Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Oh. to deflect now. You and your fancy moves. You lack grit. Just too many of these bit players. My interest is winged. Abrona, perhaps it's time for another take. <sighs> sure, sure. Try. How is she? She's not badly hurt. Dromark thinks she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I use too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Ekos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're... Not? <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? 
My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. It depends on the heart of its will. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My... war? Good morning. Pyra, feeling better? Yeah, I slept so much. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Uh, um, I... Rex, I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Damme. I need to tell him about... My past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. Nia originally said she was going to go alone, but I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Um, uh, maybe I should explain. Van Tam, he kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Oh, it's you guys. What got you out of bed so early? Nia? Thanks for yesterday. You saved our skins. That guy, Akos, I mean. I wanted to tell you about him. You see... Thing is, we used to be... Being a mercenary... You meet all kinds of different folks. Huh? Your country, family, money. People got plenty of reasons to fight. Like fighting for a special girl. I see that a lot. Though not every girl has a strange crystal in her chest, eh? Y you mean Pyra? We're, we're just... Nia. You're with these guys right now. That's what matters. But... aren't you... Anyway, Rex, weren't you saying you wanted to get to Elysium? Yeah. But we hit a snag. With a monster like that in the way, it's impossible. No guild ships getting close to it without going down. Well, I've got an old mate in the Orion capital. Got a feeling he might know a way through. Really? Yeah. I gotta go there anyhow, so I could introduce you. Van Damme, thank you. Nah, it's destiny or something. Don't sweat it. Get your stuff together and meet me by the village entrance. Time to head out. You, Zuo, take care of this place, yeah? Nay, no what is? Leave it to us, boss. Boss, you're in a good mood somehow. <laughs> I guess so. Well, take care.
<laughs> Looks like all the chat about the Aegis was true. Who are you? That's a heavy burden you have there. Sure you're up to it, pipsqueak? See sets step aside and let the big boys take charge. Come on, yield the merchandise. Huh? What? Van Damme. Do you know this guy? Never seen him in my life. Bah! <gasps> Wait. Are you? <laughs> uh. <sighs> you really are a bunch of rinky-dink, bogus, stupid, no-mark drivers, aren't you? Behold the mighty Zeke Von Gembu, bringer of chaos! Mostly known as Zeke, and often addressed as the Zekenator! Behold my blade, Pandoria! And this is my sword, the Purple Lightning Dream Smasher! If you want a taste, come and get it! We're good. Good? No! W wait! Wait, you barbarians! Oh, this guy. I'm tired of him already. Gah. You think you lowlives can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Lost someone. Huh? Oh, get a load of this. Our beloved mascot, Tartars, reveal yourself. Huh? Tartars? 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 Where, where, where are you, boy? Tartars! Hello, little guy. How are you? What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> Turtles! Handling a man is a turtle. Uh, you could have just grabbed Pyra there. Why did he go for his turtle instead? Oh, what an idiot. Listen, whatever. She'll be mine soon enough. Got a problem with that? Then come at me! And don't hold back! What? Is this guy for real? Good try. Not bad. Ba -ba 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 but wipe yourselves down and get ready for my super ultra mega move. We're waiting with bated breath for your super duper whatever. You asked for it. Bringer of chaos, ultimate lightning fury slash. Whoa, what just happened? They... What an idiot. Don't see that every day. Come on, that's enough nonsense. Indeed.
these ships look different to normal ships. Yeah, we don't muck about with our Titans much. No need for it. The Ryans like things pretty natural. I've seen your iron ships before, back in Argentum. It's like the total opposite of how the Ardanians use them. There could be one reason. They're always at each other's throats. They've been like cats and dogs for a long time. Well, from where I stand, the Adenians are worse. All their metal is just bad taste. It's easy to think that way. But you're not considering how the Titans themselves feel. Huh? Don't all those modifications hurt? When Titans live with humans, that's just the way it is. I used to have a hot on my back and a crane stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I never complain, not even when Rex fired up a grill on my shoulders. Hey, he's the right, huh? Oh, well, yes, I did like that. In fact, I miss it. If I did that now, we'd end up with Rose Titan. Indeed. <laughs> What's that? It's a distribution centre. The government tries to ration out what little resources they have. In practice, it's just first come, first served. OK, that's the last one for today. <gasps> come on! I'm a soldier. Been busting my gut for this country. That should be going to me! Not the likes of you! Huh? Don't look at me like that. Respect your elders, you snot-nosed brat! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? She's just a child. What? Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Rex, this isn't our business. Leave it. <sighs> Being an adult isn't just about barking orders. Sometimes, you need to help someone weaker. Uh, shut your face! You don't know what the hell you're talking about! <sighs> Who are you? Huh? The, the... The color of that crystal? You're... <laughs> Not good. He'll be bringing others before long. The rumors about Pyra must have traveled pretty far. Even grunts like him have heard him. Sorry. I guess I should have used the cloak. But who spread rumors? From what I hear, it's some fancy pants Nopon merchant. A Nopon merchant? Excuse me, Mr. Van Dam. Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't my owner! You grew a fair bit. How's Grandpa Cole doing? Ah. Not too good, then. Who's this? Huh? Oh, this is Iona. That old friend of mine takes care of her. Hi, Iona. Great to meet you. Come on! Let's beat it before those soldiers show up! Hmm. Is this some kind of theatre? Yeah. It's a theatre, all right. The guy we're here for leads the troop here. Ah. Actors, eh? And right now, they're in the middle of a show. Well, you want to take a quick peek? The heroic adventures of Adam. Might be interesting. I've never been to the theatre before. Neither has Tora. Let's do it. Nice and quiet, though. Looks like it's pretty packed today. Okay! <laughs> Thank you.
And I saw at that time that the powers of darkness had engulfed almost everything. People and titans alike were drawn into the abyssal vortex. The apocalypse was upon us. The end was nigh. But then, despite the wounds all over his body, the great Adam stood. Oh, architect, grant me power. Power to banish the dark. Power to illuminate the world. Servant of the architect, the Aegis. Oh, Aegis, bless me with your power. Bring light upon the world. Thus they defeated the darkness, but at a terrible price. Three great continents sent beneath the sea of clouds forever. Servant of the architect, by thy power, the world is saved. For the gift you have granted us, we are eternally grateful. I shall spread thy legend far and wide. May your name live on for eternity. of awkward, right? What was awkward? I mean, that play. It was about Pyra. Must have been kind of bizarre for her, eh? I don't know. I guess. Maybe you should go and make it right. Make it right? How? Idiot. Well, figure it out yourself. Huh? What am I supposed to... Uh, uh... So, the theatre. Wasn't it incredible? They had the cloth moving, just like real clouds. How did you think they did that? Huh? Uh, yeah. The clouds are pretty cool. They were so... cloudy? Ow! What are you saying, Bonehead? There's no need for that. I don't know what to say in a situation like this. Coming in, old fella. Crikey. Still collecting the junk, are ya? Watch it, you bruiser. Don't make fun of a man's hobbies. Some greeting for your old comrade. Comrade? Yeah. I was a freelancer before the firm got going. Believe it or not, me and this old fella tore up a good few battlefields in our day. We sure did. And thanks to that bleeding heart of yours, we almost never got paid. <laughs> Says the guy in the theater troupe. You can't be raking in much dough either. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, friend? Carl. You're old, ain't ya? Old enough to know how you cross over to the world tree. Get to Elysium, I mean. Elysium? But why? Why would you want to go there? 
That core crystal. You... you are... So the Aegis is back amongst us. Who is your driver? I am. You? <laughs> but you're... so young. How about it, old man? Do you know the way or not? Hmm... I dare say, if you've trekked all the way here to ask me, you've already tried going yourselves. Yeah, but we couldn't make it. No wonder. No one can get to the tree. Well, that thing's guarding the way there. It won't let anyone past. But... A long time ago, there was a man who went up the tree. Met the architect, too. There was? Really? Yeah. I'll wager anything. He's got an idea how to get there again. You should try asking him. Well, who was it? Uh, hmm. Please, tell us. I've got to get to Elysium, no matter the cost. Well, I can tell you. But first, I'd like to have a word with her, if I may. With the Aegis, I mean. With Pyra? Of course. Please, through here. Mr. Cole, right? You wrote that play, didn't you? I hope it didn't stir up any painful memories. No. Some of them are... good memories. <laughs> You know, you're not very convincing. I'm sorry, I really am. I just wanted people to know about that time. Show people how we were back in those days. Really get it across to them. Will you be using it again? That power? I don't know yet. I just don't know if this world can take it a second time. I know that. I'd never use it if there was another way. This is what I hope for, but... That man's the only one who knows how to get to where you're going. Do you think you can make it to him? I just wanted to make sure. We can. I mean, it's my destiny. Yeah. That boy who's with you. His name's Rex. He's a good person. With a kind heart. Reminds me of a certain someone. <laughs> okay then, I'll help you out. Thank you, Minoth. Minoth? I'd almost forgotten that name. Now then, where did it get to? <coughs> <coughs> Grandpa! Old man, you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be fine in a second. <coughs> Seriously, <coughs> don't mind me. Now, nah, we better call it a day, old timer. <sighs> I'm sorry, fella. Yeah, <coughs> okay. <coughs> but. Come back again tomorrow, will ya? There's something I want to give you. <laughs> Come on, I know a place we can rest. It's just one blast from the past after another today. You probably guessed, but we're not here for a reunion. Just as well. The Aegis is gone already. How disappointing for you, comrade. <laughs> Still an asshole. Despite the years taking their toll, I'll wager all the doctors in this town are quacks and all the blades are blunt. 
Abrona and I, we could fix that stagnant ether flow with a minimum of bother. What do you say? You could still have a lot of good years ahead of you. I mean, I won't deny there'd be a certain quid pro quo involved. But old man, just think of the benefits. Come. Can't you lend us your expertise here? Do so, and you could live for a long, long time. You know, friend, I'm not as attached to my life as I used to be. Maybe I've had enough. Your little lost souls will be simply inconsolable. The kids? No. They're strong. Uh, this is becoming a farce. A horrendously cliched one at that. Break a leg. Huh. What's that? Hey, don't be shy. You heard everything we said, didn't you? Why, of course. We can help. That is, if you can help us. Can you do that for your grandfather? This is... you can't come here. <laughs> Charming. So you're making the rules now, huh? You didn't come here to talk about the old days, did you? <laughs> We've snatched Minoth's little brat. No. <laughs> Meet me at the place of your awakening. You remember it, right? <laughs> oh, and, uh... Come alone. In the loo, I guess. Old man, what happened? Iona, she's gone. It must have been them. Who's them? After you went, Malos and some other guy paid me a visit. Malos was here? Who was he the guy? Didn't uh, catch his name, but he had red glasses. That's Akos. But what would you want with Iona? Wait, Nia, where's Pyra? She wasn't there when I woke up. What? No one's seen her. Pyra, maybe she realized what was going on with Iona. Well, knowing those two, it's not unthinkable. That girl, trying to save her on her own. Where's she gone? Didn't she leave a note? No, I'd have noticed. I know where. I think it could be Alethro Ruins. Alethro Ruins? It's where Adam led his army of resistance from. 500 years ago. It's the place where the Aegis woke up to. It must be that Malos is trying to lure her down there. I'm sure of it. Cole, tell us how to get there. It's at the top of the Great Stairway. Van Damme. Hey, fella, take care of this old man for us. Yes. Let's move. If we go now, maybe we can catch up to her. So lame. How long are you going to stay in that form? That's none of your concern. 
I am who I am. Where's Iona? Akos is the meanest son of a bitch I know. <laughs> son of a bitch! Hmm. I still think we should have sent them a finger or something. But you know best. You know what we're after, don't you? Jin. Is he on your side too? I exist for his benefit. That's all I'm gonna say. Really? Let's end this. Now. <laughs> I'm okay, but Pyra's fighting alone. She's close though, really close. Well, well, I see I'm not the only son of a bitch. Still defiant, I see. Just give it up, girl. Think you can do it alone? Handle that power? I won't use that power, and I won't let you use it either! Hmm? You seem to be doing nicely without your driver. <laughs> it's like you don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> you can't beat me like that. But maybe I huh? can! Dia! The kid? Rex! Everyone! Van Damme, take Iona! Gotcha! We'll take care of these guys. Well, it's come to this. Huh. Needs must. Abrona, do them in. I must admit, I've enjoyed playing my part in this hackneyed tale, but... <laughs> Time for the final act? Huh? You're bluffing! No! Rex! What? You see, blades draw their power from atmospheric ether energy. They send their power to the crystal where it manifests. But... What if we were to interrupt the flow? Shit! Don't look good! Damn! The power's draining out of my weapons! It's no good. I can't transfer power, my lady. Master Pun, Poppy feels funny. Why won't you guys leave Pyra alone? Isn't it obvious? We want the power of the Aegis for ourselves. It's Jin's desire to erase all of humankind from the world. What? Did Jin seriously say that? Erase all of humankind? My, my. Surely you knew better than anyone. You know what humans are really like. Mia! What are you doing? You've seen the capital. You've seen the ships, weapons, soldiers. All poised to invade more our day. Doesn't it make you want to laugh? Every corner of the world is defiled by such a vermin. But that's nothing new. They haven't changed a bit in 500 years. No wonder father abandoned them. Yeah. No, the only thing that hasn't changed is you. Father
father didn't want us to wipe out innocent life. Why did he make us then? Get real. That's what we're for, to descend on the world and eliminate these pests. What? Is that power coming from his blood? It's too late. Playtime's over. Let's end it. Akos! Agree. It's no good! Ah! Rex! <laughs> <laughs> Hitting girls isn't as much fun. Malos, you're the icon of chivalry. When you stop and look ahead Malos. and face up to the blue. You're not getting her! <laughs> An attack from the outside? Van Damme! Ah, the monk is back. But that pea shooter won't help you. Even if you hit, it'll barely register. Bloody idiot! Think I don't know that! Are you ready, Rick? Another lesson for ya! Something else you could do with a blade! What? <laughs> what? Bastard! He's channeling the energy from his weapon through his body! Yeah, nothing you can do to stop this ether blow. Nothing at all! <laughs> Just leave you here. Ah! Rex, don't go dying on me here. You gotta make it. You gotta get away from here now. Live. Live for her. You gotta make it to Elysium. I won't allow it. God. Give it up. Just go, Rex! Remember to fight your war!
Hyrule? What is this? You... You can't rewrite the act now. It's too late! Hey, idiot! Look out! Huh? At last, Mithra! Mithra? Pyra! You're... I am not Pyra. Huh? I am Mithra. Pyra, she's a different self that I constructed. A different self? No time for that! Oh, okay. Now focus! You need to focus! Or I can't transfer my power to you. No, it can't be! My powers are useless? Where is that energy coming from? Wait, um, she's not drawing from the ether, it's something else. Not ether? Mithra, looking good. Things are heating up! Let's do it! What is this? It's called foresight. I don't... A prediction of what will happen in the immediate future. Read their movements to find an opening, then counter. I get it. Hey, how did he dodge that? Who cares how? Just get them! Piece of cake. You little... There's no way. There's no way to break their link. I don't think we're gonna beat them. This is it. The true power of the Aegis takes me back. I've waited so long to see it again. Mithra, welcome back! Got a retreat. Akos! Abruna! No time for that, Akos!
The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pond home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. I'm so sorry, Fanta. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would attract us down eventually. What matters is that Vandom saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. <laughs> You're right. I won't forget your words, Vandam, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? That thing that happened yesterday, you called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyro was super strong. Why so strong, huh? Now, now, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is... I mean... <laughs> Pyra? Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Vandam guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You! You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. What? At any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that.
Malos and I are Aegis's. Blades born with a terrible power, strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed the world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to Alrest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now, and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle, too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity, after all. Grumps, Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, We'd go home to the real Elysium. And then, we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's... defeating Malos again. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... Hmm? ...that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. 
I... You apologise a lot. You know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologise anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the Salvager Code. Yeah? Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of Puppy, please? OK, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot au feu sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That's my Rex. Never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Remind you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago... Before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers but only very rarely. Most experiments were failures, and I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all, and lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa? Before I go, I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering... if you could write a play... about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah. I think... His story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. You have my word.
I reckon the quickest route is back to Argentum, ship to Moor Ardain, then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help! Hey, it's Rex! Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. Right. So it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Orrest. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave, I think I'll have another cup later. Mmm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah. It's good to be on familiar shores again. Sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Pervert! Whoa, 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 whoa! She's certainly exposing an awful lot of skin. Hot meat kettle. Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Hi, Pyra. Oh, good morning. Listen, about earlier... I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Oh, see. It didn't get violent, did it? No, I didn't do anything weird. Not a thing. No, it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess... But she did draw a thing or two. Oh, no. So that was where that came from. I'm sorry. Did it hurt a lot? No, not at all. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still a little painful. To be young again. Indeed, indeed. 
We need a little romance in our lives, too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Aegeon. Yes. I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijean. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article? Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young salvager. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be arranged. We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Core crystals? Torna's work then? Most likely. According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. Jin. It must have been him. This is the third time. From what I hear, Orion vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. I let that Torna girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues to consider. Such as? The Senate have independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. This light, what is it? Rock's core crystal. It was like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Ready to be reawakened by a new driver. So, if I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock. Vandom's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandom's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, but maybe he would have wanted you to do it. Just do whatever. Right. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Oops. Ow. 
What was that kid's problem? Rex! Your bag! Huh? No. No. No! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean the little blighter? After him. At once. Titan's foot! That little thief looked pretty young, right? Yeah. And those ears. Gormotti for sure. So let's see. There, that's the brat. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Why, that little... He stole the old ship. What now? Let's go. Are there any other... There's one. Garen! Hey, Rex. What's the big hurry? Lend me a boat. What? I mean, sure, but why? There was a pickpocket. Took our core crystal. Over there. Over there? Hold it! Bring that ship back here! Why, that's Pittman's ship. Your thief's on board that thing. Please. All right, then. The key's in the slot, so you can take her right out. Thanks. I'll bring her back as soon as I can. No worries. Go get him, Rex. That the ship! Yeah, no doubt about it. This is where he got off. He may still be somewhere nearby. Right. Then let's ask around and see what we can find. Good plan. If we're on the right track, he should be around you, yeah? Thief using Umon's workshop as hideout! I never dream of such a thing! That's him. Let's surround them so he can't run. Gotcha. Ah, oh, you lot. Kid, you sure led us on a merry chase. You've wasted a lot of our time, you know. Damn it. Look at you. You're only kids. Why don't you just give back what you took? We'd rather not hurt you or anything. You're basically a kid yourself. Oi, I'll have you know I work for a living. Right, hand it over. No, no you're not having it. Well, we took it by force. Just like you wanted us to. <sighs> Titan's foot. You're all barely ten years old. Why are you stealing from people? <clears throat> Look, keeping your traps shut won't help anyone. My lady... Be a little more gentle. Why? They're only petty thieves. Be that as it may, they are still children. Look, I'm sure there's a reason you're doing all this. Are you just that hard up? What do you take us for? We're not some poor beggars. Okay. So it's not money you're after? Then what the hell is it they want? You should just tell everything. Rex, Rex, not hurt you. <sighs> Come on. We want revenge. 
Revenge? We're gonna avenge our village. You don't mean... You were planning to awaken this blade and use it? Well, why don't you tell us the whole story? We might be able to help. Bandits attacked your village? It was just a small, peaceful village. But the bad men... Just because we had water, they... Did anyone survive? Don't tell me. You're the only ones? What's your name? Me? Why do you want to know? Please, kid. It's Reese. From Cordell Village. Cordell Village? Can't say a word of it. It's just a tiny village on the outskirts of Gormot. Not many people know it. Okay, Reese. I get why you did this. But still, it's not right to steal from people. Besides which, awakening a blade is dangerous. Do you know what happens if it fails? You never know until you try. Long as one of us manages it, that's all that matters. Sounds like you really were desperate, my boy. I assume you know the whereabouts of these bandits? There's a big cave over on Twin Trunks Hill. They use it as a hideout. Oh, Reese, it's awful! Those scum are gonna... <gasps> Who are they? Don't worry about them. What's the matter? Right. Okay. The bandits are planning to attack Turigoth. Are you sure? Yeah. We overheard one of their men talking about it in the city just now. And it was definitely one of them. It looked like they were scouting the place out. They were saying with the console gone, now's the perfect chance to take advantage. A shrewd observation. This would indeed be the perfect time to mount an attack. Are you trying to tell me that a dead console was actually good for something? So, this all our fault? Well... Yeah. I guess we might have been the trigger. We can't sit by and let this happen. Agreed. Right. You lot, you can leave those nasty bandits to us. What? I swear, we'll avenge your village. But... Don't worry. By the way, name's Rex. Reese, take the others and go warn the city guard. Warn them about the bandits? Nah, they probably wouldn't believe you if you said bandits were coming. So tell them about us instead. Tell them the guys who destroyed the water tower are hiding out at Twin Trunks Hill. If you say so, but why? Don't worry, you'll see. We're counting on you, okay? Okay. What the...? Well, this is quite the unhelpful obstruction. Hey, isn't this the same as that thing we saw in the blowhole with Van Dam? Indeed. It seems to be the same phenomenon. In that case... Yeah. We just need a little help from Rock. Vandam, mate. Hope this is okay. Rex.
force of habit. All right! You really did it! Rock. So, you are my new driver. Bit of a scrawny one, if you ask me. But, oh well, it's good to meet you. Um, hmm. He talks kind of like Van Damme, eh? Van Damme? Who is that? Oh, right. You wouldn't remember since you've been reawakened now. He was your old driver. My old driver? Ah, so my core was passed down to you. We could have stolen it. I didn't sense any guilt in your words. Hmm, you're a perceptive one, all right. Yes, you take after your old master in more ways than one. Listen, Rock, we need your help. Reckon you could clear the way for us? This stuff? Of course. Nothing simpler. Wow! That hardly took any time at all. Hm. I did say it was a simple task. Thanks a bunch, Rock. Rock? Tell me something. My previous driver. You mean Van Damme? Yes, this Van Damme. What kind of a man was he? He was incredibly strong. He looked kind of scary, but he was kind, too. And he saved my life. It's thanks to Van Damme that we're all standing here now. I see. Then I think I'd better protect you all, too. Huh? To carry on my driver's will, as best I can. That's the path I feel best befits a blade. Oh, Rock. So what's the plan? Looks like there's quite a few of them. And they have blades, too. No time for complicated plans. Don't worry. There'll be no match for us. I knew you'd say that. But hey, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just remember, we're not here to kill anyone. So mind you don't go overboard. Was Rex Rex not going to Avenge Village? There's more than one way to do that. Right? Well, if you say so. Understood. Right. Let's go. All of you, put down your weapons. You're not gonna harm that city. Who the hell are you, punks? We ain't got time for a bunch of kids. Hold it. They're drivers and blades. Now I get it. The city hired you, huh? What do you think? <laughs> How'd you find out about... Whatever. Hey, lads! Let's slaughter these brats! We'll make an example of that. Yeah! Yeah! Well, we managed to beat them, all right. But what now? Ah, right on time. Oh, I get it. That's why you asked the kids to call them here. It isn't us they need to answer to. Right? Leaving them to the authorities. A wise decision. I suppose we should probably leave then. It's not a good idea to be here when the military arrives. Let's go. Yeah, let's move.
So you see, considering the situation, could you let them off the hook? Hmm. I'd hate to deny a request from you, Rex. And I can see these kids have had a hard time. What do you think? Well, I suppose I did get my ship back safe and sound. Hey, how about this? Make them work for the guild and get them to work off what they owe that way. What? These brats! Are you saying we should make salvagers of them? I think they show a lot of promise. They've got pretty quick fingers. Right? Come on, you know it makes sense. They're poor little orphans with nowhere to go. Are you really just going to turn them away? You sure know how to twist a guy's arm. All right, I'll do it. I'll sort out the details with Papoonan. But it's just bed and board for now. Got that? If you want paying, you prove yourselves first. You hear that? I hope you don't mind. Wow. Right then, work hard, you rascals! So this is the Imperial Capital. Such a big city! Maybe their place is selling rare junk parts for upgrading Poppy! Time to go look! Master Bun, Poppy would rather use new parts if possible. Meh, meh! Is that you there, Tora? I've not seen Tora in long time. Remember me? Mui Mui? Random old guy know Tora's name. Oh, Tora not remember me at all. It Mui Mui. I was assistant of Professor Su Su, your grumpy pod. Interesting. So Tora forgot he exists. Tora? That's not very nice. No, no, I do not blame Tora. Tora was very young back then. Not surprising he forget. Besides, Master Pon was quite distracted just now, only thinking of how to upgrade Poppy. Why could it be? This looked like artificial blade. Mui Mui, right? Tora studied Grumpy Pon and Dada Pon's blueprints carefully and finished construction. Meh, meh, how wonderful. If only Professor Su Su still here to see results of hard work. Mui Mui, you have any idea where Dada Pon went? That day when the lab was attacked, Mui Mui was out on errand. When I got back, Professor Susu's body was lying there. <sighs> but there was no sign of Professor Tatazo. I see. Even Mui Mui not know. Do not feel down, Master Pon. We will find Dada Pon someday. Though no evidence for this hypothesis. Anyway, Mui Mui apologized for interrupting your trip when you just arrived in city. Friend of Mui Mui run an inn just up ahead. Place with famous hot springs. If you like, Mui Mui can try to get you discount. Mui Mui is best friend! Feels 
good. Such wondrous bliss makes aching of journey melt away. Hang on. Should you even be in the bath? Won't you rest or something? They're no problem. Poppy made from special alloy. No rust or need for oil. Tora thought of everything, huh? Master Pan is finest artificial blade maker in all the world. Hey, Pyra. Come on in, the water's great. Wait, Mithra? Huh? Is there a problem? I, I guess not, but... Nice bod you've got there. Thanks. When I told her there was a hot spring here, Mithra was dead set on trying it out. So, here I am. Must be interesting for you guys. I'd appreciate it, yeah, for now. Understood. You got it. Thanks. Whew, that was a good bath. Mithra seemed very pleased. Well, it was my first bath in 500 years. I think I have the right to savor it. Can you just switch whenever? With Pyra? Of course. Our memories are shared. So it doesn't matter that much who takes control. Oh. Sounds pretty handy. Hey, what the hell was that? I cannot say. It sounds like some kind of disturbance. Let's find out. Come on. Oh. What's that one for? Oh, I was just surprised to see you. You'd rather I was her? I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> hey, can I ask something? You need permission, no? Do you mind if I stay like this for the time being? Like this? You mean as Mithra? It hasn't been long since I woke up, and this is all new to you. We need time to adjust to using my power. She and I talked it over together. Mithra's power is much stronger than mine, but it has its limitations. It can be difficult to use in tight spaces. It might be best if you get used to using her in different situations. I mean, I don't mind at all. I'd like to learn more about you, too. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't see how I'm any different from her, really. Really? You can certainly be more touchy sometimes. Well, that's just who I am. What do you expect me to do? You see what I mean? What's that smile for? No, I just thought it's been fun lately. A lot's happened since meeting Pyra. And now I've met you, too. A lot of that stuff can't have been easy, though. So why the smile? Even rough patches can be valuable experiences. Is that weird? Always the optimist. Gramps gets mad at me for being too positive sometimes. More like all the time. Ah, was that over there? Looks like it. What 
What the hell? I know we didn't miss. Is she a blade? No. Look. Oh, that body, mechanical. What? Who's that? Meh? <laughs> Lila? Wait! Lila! Wait up, Tora! Tora, wait. Did you know that girl? She seemed somehow similar to Poppy. It was... Lila. Lila? The artificial blade Tora's dad upon and Grampy Pon were making. Tora recognized her anywhere. Master Pon, there's an ether furnace reading nearby. Up there. Ether furnace reading detected. Initiating protocol. Probability of success falling. Switching to strategic retreat mode. She's gone. Ether furnace reading lost. It seems she has escaped. Lila. Long time ago, Grampy Pon Susu and Dada Pon Tatazo were working on her. Her name was Lila. Grampy Pon and Dada Pon and. Tora all wanted to become driver. However, not single one of us have potential. So we decide to work together and make artificial blade. Blade even we can use. But then... You must run, Tora. Take this and go. Someday you finish what we started. After that, Tora hide out in Torigoth City, making Poppy based on blueprints and ether furnace dad upon left for Tora. Don't you have any idea who the attackers were? not know who, but they definitely wanted to steal Lila. If it was Lila they were after, how'd she end up here in the Empire? It looked like they were Imperial soldiers after her. Tora have no idea. But one thing is most confusing. What's that? When bad guys attacked the lab, Lila was not finished. There only one who could finish making Lila, Dada Pon Tatazo. Which means Tora's father must still be alive somewhere. Dada Pon must be held captive by whoever using Lila. 
You there, don't move! Imperial soldiers. You! So we meet again, driver of the Aegis. Lady Mora, she's the one! That mechanical girl took down our squad! What? Hang on a minute. Where the hell did you get that idea? Unfortunately, they cannot tell the difference between Lila and Poppy. So, Rex, was it? Rex? I'm very disappointed to find you stooping to such lonely crimes. Lonely crimes? What the heck? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guys. Your skills have improved, boy. Mitra! I know, I know. I won't use that power, okay? Let's stick to foresight for this. If you really need to attack, I'll hand it over to Pyra. Thanks. The Aegis has changed. What happened to her appearance? Answer me! You want answers? Then put the swords away! What's wrong with you? I'll listen to your confession while you lie defeated! Rex, after this foresight, I'll switch to Pyra. Understood. Impossible! He dodged it! Now it's my turn! Lady Mora, look at the Aegis, so you can change at will. Eat this! Pyra? We can do this, without hitting them. Huh. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> Are you holding back on me again, boy? We just don't have any reason to fight you. <sighs> Enough. Both of you. I know you. You're from the Argentum Guild's intelligence division. Lady Mora, stand down arms. These not the ones who infiltrate the facility and attack your soldiers. Then, the culprit behind the attack was not the artificial blade standing here now, is that right? They're very similar, but not the same. Nira Nira saw her with own eyes. I had a feeling we were being watched since our arrival. I'm quite sorry for causing concern. Nira Nira has been auditing Argentum Trade Guild. Ah, so you were keeping an eye on us because we came in on a guild ship. How ironic that your suspicion should happen to prove our innocence. It appears I was too hasty in judging you. I should not have attacked you so suddenly. My apologies. No, no, that's fine. Nobody got hurt in the end. I'm just glad it all got cleared up now. An apology from the illustrious Flamebringer? A rare reward in itself? Still not happy! Should get years' supply of tasty sausages as compensation! Master Pon, have some self-respect. Hmm. I will do what I can within my own means to compensate you. By the way, the culprit who fled the scene, might I ask what manner of connection you have with them? You must tell me all. I see. It seems it would be best for all of us if we work together for the moment. Us work with you? Indeed. My goal is to capture the artificial blade and track down the criminals behind its actions. And from what you just told me, those I seek likely have Tora's father held captive. Would you not say our interests align? Uh, I guess so. 
Well, it's definitely better to have her working with us than against us. We shouldn't take the power of Bridget, jewel of the Empire, too lightly. If she went all out on me, even I wouldn't be able to hold back. And then, we'd burn this place to the ground. I am honored that the Aegis herself thinks so highly of me. You may not remember it, but I faced you a few times before. Let's just say it wasn't easy. Oh, really? But that's a story for another time. What do you say, guys? I can't deny I'd rather avoid making an enemy of them. All right, then. So, from this moment on, I suppose we're allies. For the moment, I will return to the palace. If you learn anything new, please send word. I will instruct the palace guards to allow you audience with me. All right. Are you sure you wish to partner yourself with these people? Just as you were not using your full strength, Neither still were they. Yet you saw the power they demonstrated. How could I not feel intrigued? Drawn by your driver instincts? Something like that. And besides... Hmm? I get the feeling that if I stay near that boy, I might bear witness to something quite extraordinary. It sounds like you have quite the adventure. But it's good that you work things out. Anyway, we'll see if we can track Lila down somehow ourselves. I too will see if I can find any leads. No matter what, Mui Mui and Fred will find Professor Tatazo. I see. There was indeed once a factory there. However, it was abandoned some 30 years ago. So, you think we've got him? We can't be certain unless we investigate. Shall we go? You. We won't do anything reckless. If it seems dangerous, we'll turn back. How's that sound? Hmm. To tell the truth... It would be difficult for me to dispatch the military so quickly. Would you? Sure thing. Now, let me share what information I have found. There are rumours about town that an esteemed Nopon merchant is involved in this affair. An esteemed Nopon merchant? Chairman Banner? Well, we're currently searching the transaction records. If we find anything, we'll inform you. Pretty busy, eh? I don't deny it. I will head to the location myself as soon as I am able to mobilize some troops. All right, then. <laughs> so we meet again, Aegis. Oh, it's Shellhead. Yes! Wait, who's Shellhead? As ever, your comic timing is exquisite. And you will address me as Zeke von Gembu, bringer of chaos! Or Zeke! Or the Zekenator! Make your mind up, and what the hell is a Zekenator anyway? <laughs> you may have been lucky last time, thanks to a certain unstable cliff. But this time round, we meet on good old Terra Firma. If you think you can run from me a second time, you are quite mistaken. Nobody did any running. And anyway, Charlotte. What? You answer to that now? I've been wondering for a while now. 
a... What with a cutesy eye patch? Ha! <laughs> I'm quite glad you asked. This eye patch conceals a power too great for mere mortals to comprehend. The Eye of Shining Justice! I am sworn to keep it sealed until its power is needed to save mankind. You should count yourselves lucky. It would turn you to ash in seconds. Whatever you say, Pop. He definitely isn't wearing it because he didn't have the gold for a second contact lens. How poor are you? And are you that short -sighted? By the by, what business might you have with us today? Are you thick? I'm here for the Aegis, obviously. Listen, Pam. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to play with you today. So hurry on home, okay? What's this? Were you so frightened by our power that you wet yourself, furry ears? Did I what? She's got a lot of nerve, you one-eyed monster. N Nia, you do know one-eyed monster usually means... Huh? Means what? Um, it's, uh... Mithra, why are you blushing? Shut up! You guys are even tougher than last time. However, your luck ends right here. Here we go! Bring her of chaos! Ultimate lightning fury slash max! Come on! That was the same as last time! Uh. Huh? Ah! Papane, can't you do something? Sorry, sorry, sorry! You know my element's lightning! I'm not cut out for this! Uh. Ah! Seriously, though, what's their problem? <sighs> what idiots. Come on. Now this, quite the sight. Production has been running non-stop 24 hours a day. Moe moe. Once we have first thousand ether furnaces, we sell them to Torna. Eh, um, eh, but I thought this project funded by Roderick from Imperial Senate. Was it not Senator who gave us info on core chips for Lila to steal, too? That make no difference. We go where profit goes. Old Geezer can wait a bit longer for his turn. Once war break out with Oriya, he get desperate and offer more money. Chairman Banner's so amazing. Did not realize thinking about this was so deep. <laughs> First rule of making money. Are all of these artificial blades? Then Dadapon really must be. Hmm. What exactly are they planning here? Well, whatever it is, it can't be good. Professor Tatazo, speak. Spake, you give orders. If productions get more slow, maybe you ready for sleep time with fishes.
Reduce load on neural circuits by 20%. That should improve production efficiency. See? It's not so hard. Hey, isn't that... <sighs> Could it be? Tora! That you? You really dad upon Tatazo? Tora! Dad upon... Tora miss you so much. I miss you too. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thanks. Who are all these people? They tore us sidekicks. I mean, side... I mean, new friends. Wonderful! They come here for you? You have good friends! Oh, that artificial blade! This is Poppy! Tora make her by improving on blueprints for Lila! Ma-ma! Most impressive! Tora must have worked hard! If I may, I know there's a lot of catching up to do, but perhaps we should escape. A very good point. Come on, Rex. Right. Not so fast, intruders. Mui Mui. Don't tell me. Really now? You actually not realize it yet? Mui Mui give you information on purpose to lure you to factory. If we not want you here, you would never find this place so easily. Meh, How dare you! Master Bon is really angry. Meh, finally I have chance to see his precious artificial blade. Now, take care of these intruders! How can you be so strong? Now we're gonna need some answers. What were you people plotting here? Oh, ordinary business. We innocently must produce ether furnaces and artificial blades and sell to people who want them. They threaten Tatazo and forced to participate in production process. Tatapon. And next you wanted to get your hands on Poppy? You are a greedy bunch. I knew as soon as I saw her. That artificial blade uses lost ether furnace designed by Professor Soso. That is why. You quite right. Even I could never make such incredible furnace as my own dad upon. So you lured us out here to avoid making a ruckus in the city. Is that right? Qu quite right, yes. Mui Mui was part of group plotting to steal artificial blades all along. While he, my dad upon the assistant, he sell information to contact in guild and had them attack laboratory. What? Then it's all his fault that Grampy Bon was killed? Indeed it was. A contact in the guild. Could it be that the one behind all this is... Indeed, it is I. Now, Master Banner! You never do finish job properly, do you? You managed to lure them all this way and then failed to capture them! Booey, booey, very sorry. But I am nice, Nopper. You brought not only artificial blade to me, but even the Aegis itself. 
once I have ether furnace of Professor Susu, I can produce even better artificial blades and make a killing. Then I sell Aegis too and make mountains of cash! Then I can feast on mushy mushrooms for life! Chairman, Banner, I can't believe you would stoop to this. You should show more respect after all the valuable work I fight for you. So, who are you planning to sell the Aegis to anyway? Torna, I suppose. How you know about Torna? Wait, I remember you. You're one of Torna's drivers. What were you doing here? If you come for ether furnaces, they're ready in ship outside. What? You're selling those to Torna as well? Not sure what is going on, but I will just beat you all up. Lila, take them all down! Mission acknowledged. Commencing combat. Tora, please destroy her for me. Moi, moi, modify her so she not even listen to Master Pop at her own anymore. All right. Come on, Poppy! As you wish, Master Pond. Do not let her win, Poppy! Of course, Master Pond. Comprehension error. Your integrated ether furnace is not fully activated. As an updated model, my energy throughput is superior. Energy efficiency not the problem here. Poppy's Master Pond told Poppy not to lose. So Poppy will win. Very simple logic. Comprehension error. And that is why you are failure. Do it, Poppy! One more attack and she goes down! Wait! Wait one moment, please! <gasps> Upon? I'm sorry, Tora. Uh... Even if she no longer listen to me, even if she become weapon for evil, Lila, Lila is all I have. Only reminder of Dad Upon Susu. She is my treasure. Comprehension. Error. What you think you are doing? to bother protecting yourself! Steal that ether furnace even if it destroys you! Like... La is... You not need to listen to his orders, Lila! Hurry and take it! Lila... Master Pond... is... Lila's Master Pond... Is Professor Susu and Professor Tatazo? What? She destroyed control device on her own. Baby. I'm very proud of you, sister. Poppy. Poppy. Lila. That's not how it's supposed to go! Anna! What happened to activation of Rosa? She ready when you are! Good! Do it! Yes, sir! <laughs>
Where did they go? Rex, let's find them. Tora, hop it. You take care of the Professor and Lila. We'll take down those scoundrels. Where's Banner? Where did he go? What? 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 what what's all this shaking? No! Ah! Allow me. I shall serve as a decoy. And then... No! Poppy will take care of that. Tora, Poppy! Poppy? This energy's incredible! Thanks to my sister, Lila. Master Pond, profusest apologies for letting them control Lila like that. Lila show much more respect for Master Pon than Poppy do. No need for apologies. You come back, and that enough for me. Sister, Lila did awful things. Poppy used to people doing awful things. Who Poppy mean by that? Poppy. Lila has one more request. We have many new sisters. Poppy will save them. It is my duty. Lila happy. Now, Lila has one thing left to do. Poppy? Use Lila as starter and... Uh, of course! Poppy's ether furnace! Using experimental ether furnace from Lila, it can be fully ignited! But then... Will Lila be alright doing thing like that? At least I can do. Use the flames of Lila's life to save them. Now, Poppy! Show them your real power! Roger that, Master Pond. Initiating Q2 mode. Engage!
justice always prevail! Master Pawn, that enough gloating now. Now, maybe you too won't be used for bad things anymore. Ugh! Banner's vanished again. Over there, my lady. Hold it! Ma, ma, ma! You very persistent! You need to learn when to quit. Stop producing artificial blades! You used Grampy Pond's research for evil long enough! Well, but that would mean financial disaster! How much you think I poured into this endeavor? Oh, okay. We'll just hand you over to the Imperial Army then. They'll be really interested in all the stuff you had Lila doing. And I bet that's not all they could dig up on you, is it? Ah! Rex! I never had you down as such a conniving boy! Me? Look who's talking! All right, I stop production of artificial blades. That Napon is still of use to us. Do you really have to interfere? Petruka, Mikhail. Hmm? Oh. If it isn't Mia, Akos did mention you had turned traitor. Mia know these people! They're drivers from Tona. Of all the lowlifes Banner could have made a deal with. Lowlifes? Coming from the traitorous rookie? You should watch your words. Don't mind her, Petroka. Not when we're standing before the Aegis herself. Ah. Truly, the heavens must have blessed us that we- Abba! Mick, please shut up. Okay. The traitor, we kill. The Aegis, we retrieve. Got it? It's a pain, but that's the mission. Roger. Mithra and Nia, they are my friends and comrades. I'm not letting you touch them. What? Ah. These guys are tough. One's got weapons galore. The other's a master of defense. It's like taking on a small army. <laughs> Rex, I'm ready. Seriously? We're inside a building here. I analyzed the structural integrity. It should survive one blow. But we'll have to do it right beneath that crane. Anywhere else is too risky. All right. Then let's force them over there. Guys! All right. Sounds like a plan. Understood! Thanks, though. The flame bringer. As if we didn't have enough to deal with already. Morak, can you push them back towards that crane? Do you actually have a plan, or is that too much to expect? Of course. Have a little faith. Very well. Let's go. Well, I guess they don't call her the strongest driver in the Empire for nothing. Let's surround them with a wall of flame. Bridget and Pyra together? We will attack from the left. 
Can you take care of the right? All right, then. We'll try to match your timing. Then I'll switch to Mithra right away. Keep an eye on your sword's energy charge. Yes, got you. Here goes. Jokers. Trying to surround us? Ha! Not a chance. Zumak. Wire Daruk. From the side. Uh, try to focus, Mick. Whoop! Poppy, jump by the Roger that. Don't get cocky. Yeah. Now! Right! At your striker! Form the second! Right here! Rolling smash! <laughs> We're surrounded? Then we go up. Huh? She... She's beautiful. After that? No. She calculated the precise power output required. That's the Aegis for you. Remarkable. I get it. You were aiming for their blade's cause. Bad guys all beat up too! You... You pieces of trash! How dare you destroy my beloved weapon! I'll tear you all to pieces! I'll slaughter you all! I'll shred you where you stand! Stop! You can't use that here, Petroka! Such immense power. Just who is this girl? Hold on a moment. Something isn't right. My body? It won't! You all right, Petroka? Ugh, this power. Could it be? Who's that? So that's what's going on. That piece of Indoline scum. D did you say Indo? We're outmatched. Let's get out of here. Like hell I will. I'm not done killing them yet. We already got what we came for. And if anything were to happen to you, how could I possibly face Akos? <laughs> Let me go! This is why I can't stand yeah, you, yeah. you know? You can give me a proper scolding later. You're not getting away! That shit! The Minoceros! It was right there! Oh. Morak! Lady Morag! Do not worry. It'll take more than that to dispatch me. They got away. Fang Anorn. Goddess of the Praetorium. To what do we owe this pleasure? Did you say Fan?
Amazing, Laura. Even when I foresee your movements, you counter me instantly. I couldn't do it without Hazel's power. What about you? I don't see you using Mithra's hidden ability. And what if we did? Well, if you did... I just have to bring out my original blade. Master Adam. Your evening meal is ready for you. Oh, is it that time already? The days are so long at this time of year. I just start losing track. Oh, finished already? That's a shame. I was hoping to join in. Join in? By yourself? His Majesty has many pressing matters to attend to. Besides, I'm used to working alone. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. That's their very nature. You're not at full strength without him. It's not so simple as all that. I know I've yet to unlock the depths of your power. Really? I feel like I've been giving it my all. But you never stop growing. At any rate, Hayes' ability to restrict other blades is indispensable. It's perfect for training. We're lucky. When she stops me using my foresight, it's certainly difficult. Oh, but you honor me too much. I'm just happy to help you both in any way I can. Next to each other like that, you really do look like twins, you two. It's rare for the driver's nature to appear so strongly in their blade. People tell me that from time to time, but is it really true? Perhaps. But whatever the reason, I am happy if I look even a little like you, my lady. We're even the same dress size. Right? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we want to try taking you on next, Jin. Well, how about it, Jin? I'm afraid I don't particularly like fighting. And to think we're hearing that from the strongest man in Torna. But perhaps there's truth in those words. After all, he, or rather, they, My lord, my lady, we've discovered Malos's target. The capital. What? Are you sure? Yes, no doubt about it. for the Indoline Praetorium. Oh, uh, hi. You are Rex, am I correct? Praetor Amalthus requests an audience. Please, come with me. You're joking, right? What would the Praetor want with me? The Praetorium manages every blade and driver in all rest. And, as you are the driver of the Aegis, the Praetorium wants that power for itself. Not at all, my lady. The Praetor would like to meet his fellow Aegis driver. He wishes to speak to Master Rex. That is all. His fellow? You don't mean... Indeed. The Praetor is Malice's driver. <gasps> there is another matter. 
I believe you currently have a certain dagger in your possession? You know about that? Why, yes. I can tell. The Praetor is its original owner, after all. <gasps> so the Praetor... He's Cole's driver as well? Yes. Come off it. Just how old is he? The current Praetor is Indoline. It's not that hard to believe. The Indoline do live long lives. Oh, right. Well, that would explain why Cole said the dagger's owner would know how to get to the World Tree. Well, what do you say? You certainly won't regret it. An audience with Praetor Amalthus is an honor. Uh, hey, uh, wh wait a second. I wouldn't buy it, Rex. This is too good to be true. What do you think, Mithra? You noticed, right? As soon as we met Cole? Yes. Though I had no idea that man had become the Praetor, of all things. Should we? There's a lot I want to ask him. I want to know about what happened after I went to sleep. And, of course, how it is that you happen to be here, Fan. All right, then. I want to meet him, too. In fact, we might have no other choice. Ace. Lady Mithra, what are you doing out so late? Can't you sleep? At this time of year, the nights can be bitter. Please don't catch a cold. I'm a blade. We don't exactly catch colds. Of course. My apologies. Hayes, you really don't remember? Hmm? I'm afraid you have me mistaken. I am Fan Lenorn, blade to Praetor Amalthus. Right. A mouth is. Sorry. My mistake. You just reminded me of somebody I know. It is quite cold, isn't it? I might go back to my room, after all. Yes. Good night, Lady Mithra. Night, fam. Mithra, did you see her core crystal's shape? I saw. That's not normal resonance. It's not like with us and Rex, either. I guess this is one more question for the Praetor. Sorry. Let's change over it, I have to think. Sure. No problem. Is it working? Yes. I can hear the Blade's voices now. Come with me. Akos has found something very interesting. Very well. Hey, look at this. Temperantia. Rumor had it that more ordained were conducting an excavation there. So, I thought I should check it out, and, uh... It's changed a lot, but this shape... That's a Judicium Titan weapon. Judicium? I know that name. Right. It was destroyed. A casualty of the Aegis War. And it's where the Flesh Eaters were created. Is that so? What now? If it's a threat to us, it should be destroyed. Or, we could make use of it. Damn it all! I can't believe this! Hello, Petroka. And a very good day to you, too. Don't tell me. No, don't worry about that. We got the goods, no problem. Well, that's something. So, why the temper tantrum? And that's how it went down. Long story short, 
We had to make a run for it. And you're sure it wasn't your ether field that was disturbed? A female blade from Indol. Jin, it's Hayes. No doubt about it. Jin? Mikhail, how goes the work on the Marsanis? Oh, that's no problem. It'll take a little longer than I thought, but we'll get there. And Dakos? Where's the Aegis right now? Near the Leftherian Archipelago. She's on the move, maybe on a ship. Maybe they're heading for Indol. Hmm? Where are you? Temperantia. To buy some time. What about the Aegis? If that man gets into her head... Not happening. That's not how Mithra works. In fact, she'll be a big help to us. After all, only an Aegis can open up the path to the World Tree. Malus, there's a lot of work to be done on what we got from the Guild. You guys, stay here and help Mikhail. I'll go to Temperantia. Alone. Fine by me. Very well. Take care of yourself. That guy. Amazing. It looks like a mountain of clouds. The Leftherian Archipelago. Indol is currently positioned beyond the Cloud Ridge. It would take quite some time to sail around. So we'll be traveling over land from here. I suppose not even a Titan ship could surpass such an obstacle. If we have to walk, we'd best get moving now. It's been a while. Hmm. Must be five years. Rex, have you been here before? It's where I grew up. Me and Gramps are from Fonset Village. Just over the ridge here. <laughs> I wouldn't have pegged you for the left theory. So this is your home. Well, I guess it'd be quickest for me to lead the way from here. We just need to get over the ridge, right? Indeed. The delegation from Indol will meet us there. Roger that. We'll leave it to Rex Rex. Lead the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't get an inflated head. We're just following the islands, you know? Hey, it's still dangerous. There's a lot of tough monsters around these parts. Well, I won't deny that. So, how are we going? Uh... What about Vonset? What about it? Will we pass it? I mean, we could go that way. Let's do it. I mean, let's visit your village. Okay, calm down. Someone's rather excitable. Not like normal, Pyra. Uh, I mean... Don't you want to see the place where Rex grew up? Sure, but I'm not getting my ears in a twist. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That route's probably one of the safest we could take. How about it? I'll leave the decision to you. Then let's do it! We'll head off as soon as we're ready. Yeah! Hey, what are you still doing here anyway? I volunteered to come along. I'm acting as a representative of the Empire. Is there a problem? No, not at all. The Praetorium has extended an invitation to the Aegis. We would not wish to conceal this information from the other nations. Oh, yes. That's the Praetorium for you. Impartial to the last, eh? Indeed. That's not a problem for you, 
is it, Nia? Sure, we're best friends now. I'll get over it throwing me in jail one day. Now, now, my lady. Morag and Bridget are on our side. That's much safer than the alternative. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Come on, Nia, lighten up. It was all a big misunderstanding. They helped us out and everything, remember? You're such an idiot sometimes. I'm an optimist. Call it what you want. You're still an idiot. Ugh. Oh, okay, fine. It's water under the bridge. Go on. Friends, yeah? <sighs> Very well. Friends it is. This archipelago is formed of many smaller titans. The forces between the titans bend the cloud sea into this shape. There is a large titan as well, at the center of the cloud mountains. Though, being within the cloud sea itself, you won't find humans living on it. The small titans seem to like clustering around the larger one, and that's what forms the archipelago. Amazing things to see in world! Master Bun should get out more often. Working inside all day, bad for mind and body, you know. Tora on wonderful adventure with Rex Rex right now, though. Days of staying inside all day are long gone. Yeah, you're a driver. Just like us now, Tora. Meh meh! Tora appreciates support from friend Rex Rex. <laughs> that takes me back. What the hell? You wouldn't catch me dead doing that. Don't knock it till you try it. It's how we all learn to swim in the clothes. You mean you did that too? Yeah, of course. It came in really handy when I became a salvager. I can't stand it on there. It's not like water. Feels like the clouds are wrapping around you. Hmm. You don't like heights, either. You get used to it really quick. Hey, you want to give it a go? What? Hey, no! You get away from me! Don't touch me! Stop that, Rex. Don't tease her. All right, all right. Honestly, why are you going to grow up, little? Very impressive. We've refitted the drivetrain to use Ardenian technology. All of the control mechanisms have been beautifully preserved, so we should be able to finish relatively soon. Finally, we will be able to compensate for our forces' depletion. The Gormat struggle takes its toll. Sir. And there are no safety concerns, I trust. The explosion three months ago was most unfortunate. Or had you forgotten? We've been running a sedative drip through the Titan's fluid since then. No further difficulties. We've also encased the back end in composite steel. That should withstand sustained enemy fire. Even if it were to be blown up, well, it'll be in enemy territory. A pedic victory, I'd say. Well, the crew will have escape pods. Escape pods? Are you sure you don't mean coffins? I mean... Uh... <laughs> Judicium. A dead nation that realized flesh-eater technology. I cannot say... I find their creations tasteful. I'm aware you do not agree with the principle of fusing blades with human cells. Few people do. Not what I mean. I'm sorry, sir. Well, then what exactly do you? 
It's said that Flesh Eaters were created in the quest for ever stronger blades. But is that really true? What I see in them is the shadow of a people scrabbling to prolong their existence. I look at them and see ourselves. That is what I despise. I will leave for Indol shortly. Much remains to be done. Grown. And hey, is that really? That's our mark. He'll be going away to school in Indol soon, thanks to the help you've been sending us. Auntie Corinne, good to see you. Well, this is quite a welcome. I didn't realize you were sending the money home. That's very admirable for such a young man. have lots of little ponds. Master Pond, he's clearly not our little pond's the same parent. My word, is that old Azorda there? What have you gone and done to yourself? That would take some explaining. Incidentally, is there somewhere you could put us up for the night? Long day and all. Is there some way? Don't give me that. Stay for as long as you like. What's mine is yours. Thank you. Auntie, thank you so much. I think I'll go for a bit of a walk first, though. Ah, uh, yes. Leave your friends with me. Pyro, could you come along too? <laughs> oh, of course. Right then, come with me, all of you. These are my parents' graves. What? Sorry. I guess I never properly told you about myself. I'm... No, it's fine. I'm sorry I never thought to ask. I wanted you to meet them, though. To meet them? How do you mean? Hey, Mum, Dad, it's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl is Pyra, my new partner. I know you'd love her. We, we're going to Elysium, Pyra and me. I don't know what's coming next, but you'll be watching over us. Right, guys? Rex? Right. Let's head back. Okay. I'm so sorry making you wash up like this. No, no, don't worry about it. I don't have to be in a fight to be able to help people. I like it. You're a dear. Rex is very lucky you're around. He's never brought a girl to meet me before. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I'm just Rex's blade. Is that so? You do hear of blades and drivers getting married a lot in the old stories. Uh...
This is a lovely village. <laughs> Everyone's so warm and carefree. It's removed from everything, you see? I think if everyone could live like this, the world might be a happier place. You know, between you and me, I think, deep down, Rex still misses his mother a little. In a way, you remind me of her. Just a tad. Of Rex's mother? Really? Actually... He took me to say hello to his parents. Ah. You know, Rex wasn't born here in Fonset. He must have been two years old when he came ashore here with his poor mother. Maybe it was war or a dying titan, but they'd lost their home, sure enough. I gather it was a great struggle to get here. She was so weak. She asked me to look after Rex, and that was the last thing she said. She seemed so lovely, too. And his father. We found his body about three titan pets away from here. He came so far, if only he'd made it a little farther. Such a sad business. How awful. That boy has suffered enough loss for one life. That's why he became a salvager, you know? To find some way up to Elysium. In that case... Maybe it's not good for me to be by Rex's side after all. Why? Are you not fond of him? Oh, I am. But... With me here... He'll suffer even more. Lose even more. So maybe... Maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex... In the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Now, dear. Okay, time to move out. See you soon, Rex! You take care now, and keep yourself out of trouble, Azurda. Ah, oh, you know me. I prefer the quiet life. Thank you for everything. Pirate, dear, I don't know what you've been through before, but you should know you're not alone anymore. Rex is a strong boy. You can depend on him whenever and wherever you need him. I know. I'll try. Huh. What was all that about? Nothing at all. Right? Nothing for your ears, Rex. You just concentrate on what you're doing. Work hard and do your best. Sure, I will. Finally, you took your sweet time. You're the... Hey, Charlotte. Hey! You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out the way. More like stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Three days? Seriously? You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on idiots. Well then. Fight me and we'll see who's the idiot. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you if you can beat me. 
You want to join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Huh? Why? What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. Thanks for the concern and all, but maybe you should be worrying about yourself. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Which one's gonna get you this time, eh? Not today, furry ears. Check this. Right back at you. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Morag and Bridges level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis's true power? Mithra's power is only for fighting bad guys. Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now, is that it? Am I wrong? <laughs> I like your attitude there, chum. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, your highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? I've been working for Indel for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Yeah, think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right? There he goes. Mmm, bad luck indeed. Uh, should we go rescue him? Nah. He'll find his own way back up somehow. Let's just board the ship. something? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow. Before that, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? 
Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city. Tora want to see everything. What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running round Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did Blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banna grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control and direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium? Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah. I'm just stumbling my way forward. Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters? Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying.
The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Mia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, oh, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me... Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago.
What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But if you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that, you really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. Praetor. Praetor Amalthus. The boy has arrived, your eminence. 
Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this. From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah. Oh, Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To... to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago. Too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the World Tree. However, I did not find Elysium. Or the Architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex. I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to... Reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's a Praetor, Dimwit. What's he gonna do, eat her? Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt... like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. 
The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the Architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. I'm so sorry to do this to you. I see. Very well. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. Do you think it's something to do with the excavation? Temperantia? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man! Sincere apologies, everyone, but I come with an urgent request. Please go to the audience chamber at once!
As you may know, there is a demilitarized zone between Moradain and Uraya. Temperantia, think of it as a buffer between the two nations. We've received word of fighting in the area. Moradain are in possession of a Titan weapon. They're advancing as we speak towards the Orion garrison. Impossible! Well, the two countries' Titans are at their closest right now. You're saying we were waiting for a chance to strike? Unthinkable! Our people would never go to war against His Majesty's will. At any rate, we must investigate. Yes, you're right. Praetor, I beg your leave. We need to find out what's going on. Your Eminence. Thank you. Your Eminence, we... Might I ask you to assist Special Inquisitor Morag in her investigation? We have no reason to refuse, and you needn't worry about me. I am quite grateful to hear that. Let's go after them. Hurry! Who? Who's responsible for this? Preparations are still ongoing. If we attack now, we could... What have you done, Senator Roderick? Special Inquisitor, what are you doing here? The Emperor ordered that the dig be halted. He was very specific, Senator. If you've restarted it, you have violated His Majesty's will. The Emperor doesn't understand Moradain's urgent lack of resources. This is for the Empire. Your patriotism is touching. But that doesn't explain why you're waging war with Uriah! It wasn't me. I did not give that order. Even I would never dream of declaring war without His Majesty's express consent. So who in the... Morag! Who? Who are these people? Busting in here. This is the driver of the Aegis. You are to afford him the same respect as me. This is him? I heard the rumors, but this boy... There are rumors now? Wow. Am I really that famous? Do you have any idea how much it costs to repair a water tower? It's a lot. So less famous, more infamous. Morag? Is Morardain really attacking? They are, as much as I hate to admit it. Tell me, what's going on? Tricky indeed. If this escalates into all-out war... The timing is all wrong. We can't win this fight. Not now. Sounds like you were planning to start this sooner or later, sly rat. Maybe save the accusations for now. But the Empire never really wanted a war, did it? That core crystal? Don't tell me you're the... Answer me! <laughs> you're right. Mithra? Who stands to gain from an Ardanian-Orion war? Who gains... You don't mean... Jin and Torna. It's very possible. But how? Maybe just coincidence after all? Master Pan. I wish I could believe that. Inquisitor Morak, please. You are the only one who can put a stop to this. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? But I'm not going to sit back and watch. Bridget? Right. Morag. Rex, this is an Imperial matter. We can't ask for your aid in this affair. Not if it's really a coincidence, like Tora said. But, if Tona are really involved, doesn't that make this our problem too? But... Think of it as compensation for the water tower. How's that? I knew you'd go there. You're so noble, it hurts. Very well. Can I ask you to help me again? 
Yep, we're on the case. Yes, of course. I'll accompany you. Fam? What's happening in Temperantia right now? It's being led by a weaponized Titan, correct? My power doesn't only affect blades. It also works against Titans. I am certain I can be of assistance. Besides... Besides? I have the strangest feeling that I'm somehow meant to be there. Fan Lenorn. You. Hey, remind me again why we're bringing this banner. Because this sounds like fun. We're not on holiday, you. I've heard a lot about these Torna people. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? And besides, I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Shall I? Lady Morag, greetings. I have news from the front. Our Titan weapon has crossed the central border. It's advancing at about 40 Titan pets per hour. Oh, I want to get in front of it. Is there a suitable place to dock? There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. Understood. Go! Yes, ma'am. didn't stand a chance. Look! Over there! Watch out! Here it comes! <laughs> Everyone! Okay? Just about, I think. We have to stop it. How do we do that? On its back, there's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply will be cut off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. Sure. That sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. What do you mean? I read instruction manuals. It's my job to know these things. The weapon is powered by vaporized Titan bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that... Oh, damn it! Why make a weapon that dangerous? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's so cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the excavation. Can't we gather the people on board? The control center is protected by ten layers of armor. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. But that armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How we get up on Titan's back? Up ahead. There's a spot where the cliff juts out. If we can get up there, we'll be able to jump onto its back. But if our time ends up, 
we go head first down to the bottom of the cliff? And we'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. I'll take care of it. Fun? I mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun. You... All right, then. But you better be careful. Don't worry. I will. Then let's go. Almost there. Ah! We can't get closer. Allow me. Fun. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Now, let's move! Yeah! We just need to cut that! Oh. An independent defense mechanism. Ardanian technology. My apologies. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Bitch Lita, fight now! Stopped. Yes, seems like it. It's you. I thought it might be. Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenorn. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic that you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. What? Well, do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there, acting like you're not involved in all this. All right. Then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin fought against him. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. I don't think it's as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mithra! Don't tell me! Yes. He's a blade too. He was the strongest blade in Torna. Until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sank it. A blade? There were none stronger, yet none kinder, either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin, what changed? What if I told you it was your fault? Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then she'd still. Oh. So that's it. Crystal! A color. It's like blood. Careful! That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before, was that... Uh, how? How is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jin, 
He's one of the most powerful blades in history. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. <gasps> what? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now. ask you this. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our Creator on high, yet we are doomed to never remember. Why? What? The accumulation of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow, change, evolve, but blades are fleeting. When we return to our cores, our memories are lost, our growth snatched away forever. People are so different. Man's life too has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Indol control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indol decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin! Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. What are you standing around for? Show that scumbag what's what! What? It's Akos! Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Ready? <laughs> Who says we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the... Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. Wait! Ah! Get it? I'm... I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But... I couldn't do anything. Oh, fuck. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been! Jin, what happened to make you like this? What? 
is that? That? Orion army! So many of them! What? No! Shit! Who gave that damn order? At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think Mor Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up? Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not going to make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. <laughs> 